Well, I guess you can say that this is going to be a very special afternoon because we have the one and only Mary J. Blige joining us. The new album, Good Morning Gorgeous, rocks on Friday. It is so good to see you. How are you doing? It's good to see you too, Patty. How's everything? Everything is good. This has to be like the week for you. Um, season ending for power. So it kind of left us like, <gasps> right? <laughs> coming out on Friday and then the Super Bowl. Tell us about this project and what makes it so special. Well, what makes this project so special is just the posit the positivity that comes with it, the 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 positive affirmations that I'm speaking over myself and over my life and what I had to do to get to this point. That's what I that's what I had to do. I had to speak positivity over my life. I had to speak, you know, so, something that would manifest in a positive way over my life. And those words, good morning, but it's not from a vain place or a place of, you know, I say in the song, I'm not talking about hair and makeup. I'm talking about as soon as I wake up to speak to my heart, to speak to my spirit so it can grow the beauty from the, from the inside out. And, um, and normally I would put a, put, put the, out, the, the single out and it would be, oh, my heart is broken. This thing, this happened. That. So this time it's like, I wanted to uplift the good and the positivity of my life, because there's always going to be darkness and heaviness and all, oh, you know, this, but what about living and what about how good life is despite all the rest of the stuff that goes on? And that's what's different, like just my mind frame and how I feel about me and how I feel about life. I got to tell you this song, it is an anthem for women everywhere. And I said yeah. that the first time I heard it, I said, this is the new anthem right here. And women do need to hear it and they like to hear it. On this album, you work with Anderson Pac, Anderson Pack, who is hotter than hot right now with Bruno right. Mars and Sick Sonic. But you got this tune with Usher that I really mm -hmm. hope is, is going to be a single. What was it like working with them? I mean, I've, I've worked with Usher before. I've had a, um, when I share my, not, sorry, not to share my, the Growing Pains album. Mm -hmm. We just shake down together. And Usher's my family. Like, so, you know, if I need him, he'll come. And now, and now Anderson's my family. Um, I was on tour with Maxwell in, in 2016. And Maxwell kept playing this album that was crazy. And it was coming through the walls. And I was like, yo, who is that? He said, this is Anderson, this kid named Anderson Pack. So I downloaded the album and I've been playing it ever since. And I was like, yo, I love this guy. He's so soulful. I need to find him. I need to work with him. I manifested that thing. He came <laughs> we're here. Now we're friends and it's all, it's beautiful. <clears throat> As we, you know, head towards Super Bowl Sunday, you got Dre, you got Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar. Here you go representing the East Coast because it is a California thing. Are you nervous? Because this isn't your first time. You did the Super Bowl, was it in, was it in 2001 with Aerosmith? It was with I, everybody. Leader? Everybody was on that stage. It was like a, <laughs> like a cluster moment where I was all clustered in there with that red booster hair. And it was, <laughs> it was, but I was grateful to be there though. You know, yeah. um, they, they, you know, people always call me and um, I'm grateful. But this time I have my own slot and my own moment. Thank, thanks mm -hmm. to Dr. Dre for sharing his moment and calling his friends to, you know, to be on that stage with him. This Sunday, that halftime show is going to be, it's going to be epic. So many people are excited about it where they're talking about that halftime show more than they're talking about the game. It Will it be a history making performance? Oh boy, is it. It's going to be, wow. That's all I can say. It's, <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps just 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 thinking about it and and in the rehearsals man the rehearsals is like man it's you know it's rehearsal but just from from the time it starts it's like oh my god this is about to be crazy wow people are really going to love it as you look with the rest of the year will you be able to fit in a tour yeah um we, we just started shooting the third season of ghost Mm -hmm. And um, so once we're done with that, like in August, we're going to hit the road. Wow. What do you like most about touring? Because I love it when 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 you mm -hmm. come here. The live, just the fan, the live shows and the fans and the back and forth, the energy with the fans. That's you, you th that's priceless. You know, them s singing every word like 
you could just put the mic down in the stand and turn it around and like like I've done that before. So yeah. that's that's yeah. the best part. Just just seeing just the love, the, the unconditional love that come from the fans for the music. Well, you know, for as long as you have been in the business, I have interviewed you from from the first time that you came out. You got to feel that love and you have to know for so many people what you have brought in their lives. And you are loved and love your music, the acting. You have people that they are with you every step of the way. And Mary, you have been a blessing to so many people and just keep blessing us with good music, seeing you on the screen. You should know every day that you got legions, thousands on thousands of people who love you to the moon and back. And just thank you for just giving us great music to play. Your music is the backbone of our format here at DAS. So you got to know in Philly, oh, DAS got you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I love I love Philly. That's another one of my places to perform because Philly is the realest. Yes. You either gonna win or lose in Philly. There's no gray area. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the album. Good morning, gorgeous, everybody. It drops on Friday. Good luck on that Super Bowl stage because we're going to be screaming and shouting and just good luck with everything. We love you. Thank you, Thank you Patty. It's good seeing You're you. Welcome.